Howdy everyone, this is Trisha and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to put together this macrame wall hanging. It took a little while to do, but it's actually very simple. It just takes a little patience to get it done. And I used uh, items from the Dollar Tree to create it. So let's get to crafting. First, I'm going to take one of these wood hanging decor uh, pieces that I grabbed from this crafter square at the Dollar Tree. I've already measured it. It is about 11 and 3 quarter inches in length and 3 inches in width. So this is what I'm going to be using. Of course, you can use whatever length you want or whatever width. All right, so I'm removing the tag. I won't need that. So I've got these two holes here, which I am going to be using, but I'm going to need some more holes down the bottom where I'm going to thread the uh, yarn that I'm going to be using. And then I need another one up in the top. So instead of having it hang from here, which is what this little string here was on here before, you could use it to hang. What I need now is a string to hang it up in the top. So obviously the string is not going to be used for that, but we'll use another piece. So I need another hole on this other end. So I'm just going to mark it with a pencil more or less where I need another little hole and then I'm going to start marking little pairs of holes so there'll be a pair here the one that are, is already there plus another one and I'll just space them out I want it to whatever amount you decide to do of little holes you want to make sure you have them in pairs okay all right so I had already done the other side which you know you can see here the little dots here with a pencil right there. I had already done these here and I went gone ahead and I've marked the one in the top and what I have including the little hole that's already there I have 36 which is going to be 36 little holes okay so like I said as long as it can be divided by two so it can be pairs that means I have 18 pairs all right so now let's go ahead and drill those little holes in all right so I've already chosen my drill bit that's about the size of this hole that's on here so I can go ahead and start drilling my holes and I'll do this one first. Of course, I'm going to hold this one up in the air, but this is not the way that I'm going to do it because we want to make sure we're all safe. But there we go. Just do a little hole. You can get some sandpaper, sand it down, do the same on the other side, sand it down. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and start drilling all these little holes. After sanding it, I'm just going to take a little piece of wire and just kind of push in because there's some little wood fibers that get caught inside of the uh, little holes. So I'm just kind of pushing in and then I can also go from behind, sand it down. Oh, this wood kind of chips some. So I was noticing that when I was drilling down, I was noticing some chips on the other side. So little bits of wood here got chipped off. So this is obviously going to be my back side. All right, so the next step is to paint it. And of course you can paint it any color you want. I'm going to be using this Waverly chalk paint and cashew. So I really just want to paint the front, you know, and the little edges. You could do the back if you also wish to do that. All right. Now that I finished, I'm just going to poke the little holes again just to make sure that that paint doesn't dry inside the little holes. And then uh, we're going to let this dry completely. And if you feel like you need to do, you know, more than one coat, go right ahead and do that okay so I'm going to be using this particular uh, roll called just cotton and I did grab it from the Dollar Tree as well it says it has 87 yards so I'm hoping this will be enough but I did grab two of them just to make sure okay so I've already put all the strings through all the little holes and then what I started doing is I started knotting right here at the bottom here as you can see right there so I've not started knotting them and you can see that I still need to do the rest of these and I'm knotting them so that they stay in place. Okay, so all I'm doing is I'm grabbing the, the you know, the string and going all the way to the end and making sure that it does, you know, sort of evenly meet up at the ends. And once I know that I have that, I can go ahead and start making a knot. So just flip it around, bring that ends through there. And I just like to grab it like that just to make sure that the knot stays way up at the top here. And then just pull. I'm pulling on these here as I push the little knot so it's nice and tight up there, just like that. All right, so I'll finish doing all those little knots all the way down. Okay, so now that I've knotted all of my little strings here on the bottom here, they're all nice and tight, they're hanging down straight. I've gone ahead and I've 
marked or I've gone to the back here and I've marked the two middle ones the two middle holes and that's my first pair so I'm going to start with that center one and I'm going to put the strings flat like that so I can just kind of see which ones naturally go to the middle and these go to the sides these stay in the middle and that goes to the side okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab all of these other ones get them out of the way so that you can see what I'm doing just pull them up that way and get them out of the way okay so we're going to grab these two center holes these, this pair of strings and we have four right because I've put them in half so there's four pieces now so these are my center pieces pull that off to the side and pull this one to the side and I've got the two in the middle okay so now we're going to go ahead and start doing our first uh, macrame knot and we're going to grab the center ones keep them down like that flat grab the one on the left side okay and you're going to do like a, a number four across the top of those two center strings and you're going to go under the right one so just bring this right string over that piece and now this right string is going to go under see this the left one went over the right string is going to go under so it's going to go over the left string and under and then up through the loop of the left string like that so you have this kind of a ace kind of a shape and then you're going to bring it up and hold this one in the middle bring it up all right so now we're going to finish that knot by bringing out the right one over the two center ones the left one over the right but then under the two center under that little loop and then bring it up through it and there we go and we're going to knot it now i put this paper underneath here because i thought the table was too white and uh, you wouldn't be able to, you know, it's too white, so you wouldn't be able to see the strings. But I don't know if you're, you're able to see the strings on here. So let me grab another more solid item here. All right, so I've gotten something a little more solid so you can see. So I did the one knot, so I'm going to do one more just so you can see what I'm doing. These are your center strings. Keep them down the center. We're going to grab the left one and make a loop like a number four like that. Okay. And then you're going to bring it under the right string whoops bring it under the right string like that and then this right string bring it under the two centers under the loop and then pull the end through it and then you can go pulling it tight hold on to the center pull it tight all right so now we want to do the opposite instead of doing uh, the left first we're going to do the right now and that'll finish that second knot so loop it like a four but backwards or like a letter P and we're going to take the right string over the left but now well this is now the left string but it was the right string so we're going to bring it under the two center ones and then under this right loop here and then bring it through See, so you're doing the opposite. So we're doing two knots like that, okay? All right, everyone, I have set myself up here so that I can have this hanging down, and I've got something heavy here. I've got my laptop right here on the top, uh, on top of this, you know, the wood plank part here. Uh, so anyway, I'm gonna grab the middle one again. This is the middle one where I started the, uh, the double knots first, and then of course I finished them off to each side. And of course I've got the leftover on the end, and I got one left over on the end, but they're now going to get incorporated in this next row of knots. I'm going to be doing the same exact knot. Now I'm going to grab the middle one again, and I'm going to separate the, the four strands, so two on each side. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the side, to this other one, and grab the two outer strings right next to it, right here. And now I'm going to do my knots with these four pieces. So this one's going to move over to the side. So we're going to do the same thing. These are the middle ones. We're going to grab the left one, make a four like that. Take the right one, go over that, that string that we brought across and then go under the two middle ones 
come through the loop and then pull it and now we're going to do the loop on this side bring this one over the end of that under the center ones let's do this let's do it again right here like that bring this one over and then under the center ones and then up through this loop right here okay and then I'm going to hold these down like that and tighten that like that so that's one knot let's do it again the side this one goes over and then under and through and now we do it loop on this side this one goes over and then under and through and there we go and there we go just like that okay so we've got that and then we'll take the other two and we'll incorporate it with this one so then they'll get knotted right here and there we go so now this center one here is now caught on with the two side ones here with these two little knots so we're gonna now go and these side ones are on each side of the center one and we'll now go and connect with the one next to that so these two strings that are left over we're gonna grab two strings from the one right next to it and we're gonna make double knots right there and we're gonna continue these leftover ones are gonna grab the ones next to it like that and we're gonna make two knots there and then we're gonna grab that and that make two knots this one and this one two knots this one and so forth I'm only telling you so you can see what I'm doing two knots this one and this one two knots and then grab this and the two on this end two knots and then you're gonna grab this one and then this rogue leftover one over here together and then they're gonna get knotted so that's what that starts to get incorporated into that so that's what I'm gonna do you guys I'm gonna continue right where I left off right here work my way this way and then this one where I left off continue my way over onto this side so I have a beautiful another beautiful line of knots okay so I'm doing the very last uh, knot here and the very on the very ends as you can see here so there we go I've got two rows of double knots so I'm gonna go back to the center one so it's this one right here and I'm going to grab the two on the end here and the two on the end there and I'm gonna go ahead and start double knotting again but this time instead of just making two I'm gonna do three or four actually I think I'm gonna do three or four I'm gonna see how how long um, doing three will be because I I've done two up here and I want it to be considerably longer than that so I think I might go four so that's one knot right there every two of these you know small knots is one knot okay but that makes it four and I kind of like that length this from here on is just what your creativity takes you if you want to learn different, uh, you know, macrame knots and do something different, you can do that. Uh, I'm just going to keep it, I don't like this, but I want like a, like a bigger space. So I think I'm going to go for six. So let's do another half. And that's just my cat again. <laughs> oh boy. It's dinner time for them. Time to feed them. Okay, here's the other half. So that's five and here's five and a half if you want to call it that and six okay i like that length so i'm going to do six okay so now i just you know start working off to each side by grabbing this one and then the two on here doing the same thing and doing six and so forth all right, everyone, it's actually the next day. Um, 
I got a little sick, so I had to stop doing my video, and I'm continuing on this morning. Um, yesterday, I finished off um, this row here. Actually, let's see. Yeah, I finished off this row here. So I did <clears throat> double two double knots, and then I did another row, two double knots. I was basically repeating what I had started up at the top. So then I decided, okay, I'm going to continue on. This morning, I decided that I'm going to continue on with uh, six double knots, which is what I did up here as well. Now, last night, um, when I did finish this little, where it makes a little circle like that, I started knotting like four four of them. I just grabbed, you know, and I made it like a just a regular knot rather than these here. I did a knot like when I first started up here, but instead of just the two little strands, I was using, you know, four strands like this to, to make a knot. And then I had left some space and started up again doing um, some more of these double knots. But uh, this morning when I looked at it, and I was almost finished. Uh, and with that, I got sick. I got a little nauseated, a little sick, a little dizzy. I had to stop doing everything, go to bed. Uh, so I wasn't able to finish my video. So here I am. This morning I come and I look at it and I decide that I didn't like any of the work that I had done. <laughs> so I undid everything. I completely knotted everything, left off where I made this little circle and decided that I'm just going to repeat my top pattern. So here's my little circles here and here's my little circles here. So then now I'm adding these here. I started doing them because I wanted to make sure that I, I do like what I'm doing. Hold on, let's put this back a little bit so you can see here a little bit better. Okay, so yeah, I started, I started doing this to make sure that I did like what I was doing and I do like it. So I'm gonna continue on with six double knots like I did the top here. And I don't know what else I'm gonna do, but then I'll finish it off and then I'll leave a bunch of strands down and we'll come back and show you all of that once I've, I've, I've got it done. Because you're gonna follow whatever a pattern you wanna follow with these, okay? I mean, I could leave some space here. I don't have to do, instead of, okay, I left, I left off here at, at six, right? I just gotta remember, <laughs> gotta remember that. So let's say I wasn't doing that. If I, if I didn't wanna start like way tight up here, I could have started way down here somewhere like I could have done my my first little knot and then just left it left it down there rather than pulling all the way up so let's go ahead and start this one just to give you an example okay let's say I want to start right there rather than way up here like all tight up here I'm gonna leave it loosey-goosey there so let's just finish off that one little knot just so you can see what I'm talking about you could also alternate them do some Start them way up here at the top and then do one down here. I mean, you do whatever you want. You could do six, four, two, and then go down way over here or the other way around, you know, two, four, six, and then go down here and start the next one. I mean, you, you could do your pattern however you want. You know, be creative, okay? Just keep in mind how many strands you have and just divide it by every, whatever you're doing, okay? Or even if it comes out all uneven, you learn something. Just practice something, do a little bit of work. Okay, I'll be back when this is all done. All right, so I left off saying that I would be back when I was all done, but I ended up doing something a little bit different what I said I was gonna do, and I wanted to show you how I'm creating this. So I said you could go down any length and then, you know, leave those straight and then start nodding at whatever, you know, length you wanted to go down to. So that's what I did. I went down, I chose my center point, and I did my first, you know, double knot right here. And then I grabbed the next two on each side of it and did another double knot. When I went to the the uh, third, you know, on each side, if you count one, two, three, the third one over, I decided to go up a little bit higher. Then the one next to it, I did it about the same height. And then I went up more and more and so forth. And I kept like doing two at the same level. And then I'd go up two at the same level. And I ended up with one way up here. And that's fine. So I did the same thing on the other side. So whatever I would do here, I would do over here. And then I'd move over, move over, move over, move over. I kept doing like that from the inside out rather than working one side continuously and then doing the other. So I wouldn't lose uh, track of what I was doing. So then I started up again on the center to do a, another line of these uh, double knots. So of course that's bringing me upward each time I do a double knot. So wherever they're level, they're right next to each other. But then when I move up, 
like when I did this one here, because this knot was higher than that, I get this little bit of a, you know, a little couple strings there. Well, I have those little strings on the other side, so it's it's doing the same image. So here I go again like that, and then because the next one goes up high, I, again, I have that little eye of strings, which I have it right here as well. So I'm about to have that again. So these two were level, so this little knot ended up, you know, nice and tight up underneath them. So now I'm going to go up to this other knot, which is going to get combined with this one here. And as you can see, it's up quite a bit. So I'm going to have this length of string as a little eye, and that's okay. I don't want to, you know, tighten it and bring it like that because then it's going to make everything all, you know, bunched up, you know, like that. And I don't want that but I do like the look of this little eye. It just gives it a little something different. So this is an idea of what I'm doing. Uh, I'll go ahead and do this one. Let me get these. I, I usually kind of like throw them up like that to get them out, out of my way. So just grab the ones in the middle and just do your, your knots. And when you bring it up to tighten it, just go up underneath this other knot. Don't worry about this other one, okay? Just bring it up underneath that one knot and leave that little, you know, little eye of strings is what I'm calling it. Little loopy there, this little eye there. Okay, so I'm going to finish it off with one more double knot. There we are. There we go. So I'll just do now the other side over here to keep things even. And then I'll work this way and then this side till I'm at the very end. All right, so now I've got, here you can see that I did continue with the third row here. And what I did is at the center, I did a long one and then I got shorter as I went along. So that just did on each side. So give this really nice, you know, curved design here. Let me get the black here right against it so you can see that really pretty design just with those same knots yeah, there you go okay so now I'm gonna take all of this and make it as smooth as possible I could do several things I could just let it finish off like that and just either cut it straight or you know cut it you know like at an angle or around it whatever you know whether it comes to a point or around it you know, following the same design and just making it like really short. Um, I could take a string and then just tie it around. I'm gonna try and do a knot, see how that looks, okay? So I'm just treating it like hair here, <laughs> brushing it like that just to make sure that all the strands are, you know, as even as I can make them. And I'm just gonna go like about right here and hold it straight down. Let me go down like that, okay. Just like that, and make a knot. Now, normally, when when you do like a macrame, like a basket, um, you know, like a plant holder or pot holder, whatever you want to call it, you end up uh, grabbing all your strands and knotting underneath to grab them all together. Uh, but um, you don't usually have this many strands to work with. Okay, I'm also trying to grab, making sure that all of them are in here. You know, all the ends. Now let's see how that looks. I don't know if I like it. Because they're not all, like, getting pulled evenly. And it's hard to make a, a knot, when, you know. Like, see, like, these are, these feel, like, looser than these do. Like this didn't get pulled tight in there. So, I mean, if you want to do it carefully and you could do it a lot nicer than what I did, that would be your choice. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a long piece of yarn and wrap it around several times like you would a ponytail. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I'm back in my craft room and I've decided to just lay this flat now so you can see what I've done. Uh, I've gone ahead and I've tied it right here um but i'm not liking that now <laughs> i didn't like the uh knot and i don't like that either so i've uh, decided that 
I think I'm just going to trim the ends. So I'm going to remove this and hopefully I don't cut any of the uh, other little strands. There we go. Just like that. There. Easy peasy. Okay. And by the way, this is what I have left over of one of these rolls. So I've actually only used one roll. So that's pretty good. Okay. Let's get this out of the way. And I'm going to smooth these out so that I can then trim them either straight or an angle. So be right back as soon as I got that all smoothed out. All right, so I've already smoothed it out as best as I can. And I think I'm gonna put some tape. I can only find my double tape. Think about this length here. So now I'm just gonna cut straight like that. I mean, I could cut right along the edge of the tape, but I still wanted it longer. Okay, so now I've got that, and I like that, but I kind of want to mimic the curve of this. So, using a little more tape, let's see. Let's just got to keep them together here. And I want another one. So I know the shortest point. Okay. Right there. Okay, so I'm gonna use like this is my middle right here. And of course the tape's gonna get cut off right here. Oops. 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 That was not a great idea. Well, it could be if it wasn't double tape. Okay, I'm gonna fix this back. Kind of the way that I had it. Okay, yeah, I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back and I'm smoothing it out as best as I can again. The double stick tape, I mean, it just wasn't helping me. It was just making it worse for me. So I am going to uh, mark where I think it doesn't have to be too perfect because you know this is going to be hanging down. So I'm just going to cut that. One little strand there to tell me that's the shortest. And then I'm going to work my way. You know what? These scissors are not it. Okay, start at the center. I'm going to work my way up to that shortest point there. And I'm actually going to trim this side a little bit more. Okay, it's not perfect, but it looks pretty. I like it. Okay, so now to hang my um, macrame wall hanging, I need a little string to come out, you know, on the top here. And I can just grab some string and push it, you know, push the ends through the little holes, come up through the back and just double knot them or triple, quadruple, whatever knots, just so that it doesn't get pulled through. But I'm actually gonna use also these wood rings and I got these at the Dollar Tree it's a five count so I'm gonna go ahead and use it because I, I grabbed it and I didn't even remember that I had bought these until today actually let me get one that's a little bit lighter and I could paint it the same way as I did the wood but you know what I'm gonna leave that one just as is and I'm gonna take this fold it in half and get that little loop like that put it through there and then just bring the ends and then that's just attached that way okay so now we're going to take the ends and put them through the little holes actually from the front towards the back okay got the ends there so I'm actually going to knot it about right there so what I'm going to do before I knot that's where I want it to stay at. I got my hot glue gun ready, as I said. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to put some hot glue right where that little hole is. Let that dry so it doesn't move on me. And then I'll, what I'll do, once that's dry, I'll make some knots to make them as tight as I can against there on the other side as well. And then I'm going to put some more glue and then that'll be it. Okay, that way it'll make sure that they stay in place. All right, so I've added some glue on those little knotted bits. 
and that's drying and then we'll go ahead and uh, see what else we can do to this all right so now we have our little wall hanging here and as you can see we have a nice a little plaque here that's kind of plain so we can add anything that we want i bought a bag of shells from the dollar tree they were dollar 25 <clears throat> so i thought i'd use some of the little shells on here you know just kind of they're not the best looking shells they're kind of <laughs> you know a little janky but there still works just you know figure out some sort of little pattern that you might like i'm going to go ahead and pull out all the shelves many of them are broken but there's still some that are still pretty good um you know such as like this one as well and i've got some little little tiny ones here and some very decorative as that so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to pull out the shells that i want to use and I'm just going to hot glue them on, just create a little pattern and then hot glue them. Okay, so I think, I think that's good. All right, everyone, so my macrame wall hanging is done. I think it looks really pretty. I'm going to give myself a big old thumbs up, and I hope that you two will give me a big old thumbs up and leave a kind comment down below and let me know what you think of my video today. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, so hit that red button down below. It says subscribe, and then after that, you'll see a little bell. Please hit all so you can get notified of all of my videos as soon as I load them up. Thank you all for very much for being so patient with me in uploading uh, this video. Have an awesome weekend, and as always, enjoy.